if women uh, in the US politics were like equally represented, what would it mean? How would how different would the would it make any difference to the society and the American political landscape? In the research that I've done on Congress, the most important thing is always political party. So women aren't going to go against their political party and women aren't going to go against their constituency. But where they have the space to choose what policies they want to focus on, we do see that women are more inclined to focus on policies that are going to have an impact on women, families, and children. So we have seen uh, when there are more women in office, uh, we do get promotion of policies related to paid family leave, uh, increasing support for childcare. We can see this right now with Kamala Harris and her campaign. Her economic focus is very family oriented and she is pushing for expanded attention to paid family leave and childcare as part of her platform. So we do see women uh, emphasize issues like that and social welfare policy in general uh, a little bit more. We also see more focus from women, particularly democratic women on these questions of reproductive rights. So when you look at in the Congress, who is most forceful in pressing for reproductive rights, it tends to be legislation being led by democratic women. And you saw that even in the Biden administration, Kamala Harris was always the one taking the lead on reproductive rights. For Republicans, there was a period where there were more moderate Republican women that were elected and they tended to be more socially liberal. These days, Republican women are equally conservative to Republican men, the ones that get elected. And you will often see the Republican women leading the charge on the other side. 